am so goddamn sick and tired of this, man. Look at me. It happened again. I, I, I still don't quite understand why you're so upset. Is it the laundry bill? Oh, I'm sure we can arrange something for you. I wouldn't be too worried. What? No, no, I'm not worried about the clothes. And besides, there's not a laundromat in this city that's going to clean up this shit. Oh, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised with the results they can get. <laughs> it's about the principal, man. We have been doing this together for a year, and yet you insist on trying to teach me these bizarre moral lessons like some kind of second-rate Aesop. Oh, that is the most ridiculous assertion, Theodore. <laughs> Aesop was never a professor. Yeah, what, he dropped out of your freshman class back in the day? Look, don't derail me on this, okay? You always plan these after-school specials from hell where I'm supposed to learn something, but all I ever learn is that you're crazy and I end up inevitably covered up in shit. That is just ridiculous. I can't think of a, of a, of a single instance where something like that occurred. What? You've been doing it to me since the beginning. Here's one for you. How about the Hiltuk tomb and the ghost of Mickey Sullivan? Oh, yes. Mickey. Yeah, Mickey. <laughs> I remember. It was a cold and dreary evening. What? No. It was a beautiful day. Look, don't do this thing where you interrupt me all the time, all right? Just let me finish. Anyway, it was uh, my third job, I think, out in the field, and I wasn't really buying the stuff yet. We would investigate a haunting up on Pittsburgh. Yeah, this East looks Sand. spooky, all right. You know, we've been on three of these little field trips, and I've seen scarier stuff at Walmart. All right, you had me convinced this stuff was for real. No. Hush. All right, Theodore. What is the first step that we must take whenever approaching any suspected haunted location? You know I know this, right? You create a basic binding seal over any doorway to ensure that no spirit or spirits leave attached to any living person or persons. Oh, very good. Here, you finish up here. You're much taller than I am, and besides, you need the practice. Hello. Please come in. Oh. Hello. I'm Elise. All shall day. Oh. Elise, he didn't mention he was so handsome. <sighs> whoa, whoa, slow down, Don Juan. I'm pretty sure that when you introduced yourself to Elise, you had chalk all over your hands and you did that weird coughing, grunting thing you do. <laughs> Talk <now. coughs> My name is Professor Beelzebub Ravenwood. Uh, no, I, I have a cold. Oh, yes, well, uh, uh, this is uh, this is my assistant, uh, Theodore. Uh, just, just, uh, just Theo. Get in there, I got this. Okay, right. so Theo Berg. No problem. Yeah, thanks. We really appreciate it. You got it. What did you draw around the door? Well, that's just a basic binding, right? What that does is if there is a spirit here, when you leave, it stays here. Just a precautionary measure. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, thanks, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I'm gonna go check out that. I know this seems really weird. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm cool. Okay, because we both know I grew up around this sort of thing. Right, right, yeah, no. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I mean, no one else can figure out what's going on anyway. Can't beat the rent in this neighborhood, so. I can, yeah. yeah. Is he okay? I want him. Yeah, he's just annoying. Okay, so, Dr. Kolchak told us that there's been a lot of activity here as of late. Uh, would you mind giving us a rundown of some of the stuff we've been experiencing? Sure. Uh, so sometimes when I'm in the kitchen, I hear this 
faint, deep laughing. And sometimes it feels like there's someone blowing on my hair or neck. Yeah, it's really weird. I keep thinking I've left a window open or something. Okay, and has anybody else been in the house since this has been going on? Well, my boyfriend Brad, but... Now you're really... low. What are his thoughts on the, uh, present? Naturally, he's skeptical. Hmm. I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, Gina? Yeah. Is it? Mm-hmm. Um, has there been any sort of kind of... And, uh, what was it again? Uh, 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 Judy? It's uh, Gina. Ah, ah, Gina. Gina. Uh, have you heard these voices, uh, as well? Yes, I guess. I could be imagining it all, I suppose. Hmm. It's very fascinating, Sharon. Very fascinating. Yeah, fascinating. So, anyway, Gina. Yes. Let's get back to my questions. Is there any sort of time of day that this has been going on? I've only noticed it at night. Yeah, same here. Okay, and from this visit, what would you say that some of your... What would you say your expectations are? <sighs> hey man, you want to ask the questions? Because I'm giving a clipboard and I'm going to take a nap in the car! So, is there any physical evidence of a presence? Go on, show him. Last night I found that written on my cabinets. That's when I realized this was a problem the landlord wouldn't fix. Uh, does, this, does this look like the name Archie to you? Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Uh. Archie! Can't believe you sing that song. Do da. Do da. As in, uh, B. Archibald Ravenwood? Salvador Dolly. Still owes me ten dollars. As in your name is written on the goddamn cabinet? Good gracious. So you think you can fix whatever's going on here? Whatever it is, we'll take care of it. Thanks. No problem. Yeah, thanks. I mean, even if it does turn out that we are crazy and imagining things, at least then we'll know. Yeah, and at least then everything will be fine, right? <laughs> And I thank you guys for letting us have this place for the evening. Uh, Professor Raywood and I need quiet to do what we have to do. And I assure you that we are here as professionals and faculty of the school. So we'll do nothing out of line. And we'll make sure that we, he, <laughs> does not touch anything he should not. Yeah, he seems a little eccentric. Yeah, you had no idea. <laughs> ready? All ready, let's go. Right, have a great evening, guys. Thanks. Take a little bit. <laughs> What are you doing? You see, I was, uh, I was surveying the area, looking for a possible point of entry for the uh, spirit into the home, you know, a, a gateway, so to speak. So what I did was, I took my alchemy powder, and I cast it out. Oh, would you be a good man and pick it up for me, you know, your yeah. bad knees? Yeah, sure. Do you feel it? Hmm? What? Do you feel it? There is an immense drop in temperature in this area. Come here. <gasps> Professor! <gasps> so cold. Yes, yes, I was afraid this might happen. Don't worry, my boy. 
you and I will get through this one way or the other. Are you nuts? When would I ever act that way? It was frigid. And besides, Theodore, I worry about you. You're quite willowy, like some sort of oh tree my person. God, you are nuts. As I was saying. Whew. Whoa. That's pretty cold, man. Yes. It's just as I feared. The Inutuk Doom. The what? The Mind Eater. This is a far more dangerous situation than I could have ever anticipated. Professor, I'm frightened. <laughs> the Mind Eater. It's a uh, rare uh, psychoparasitic entity. It's a. Uh, it's often mistaken for a. Uh, a common poltergeist. You see, the the Inutuk tomb slowly increases its ghostly activity, and it draws on the anxieties and fear it creates, until eventually it takes full control of the host's mind. And then it feasts. It feasts until there is nothing left. So, have you ever encountered one of these before? I've encountered the Inutuk tomb twice before. The first was simply looking for release. And it saw me as the one holding the jailer's keys. But the second... Second escaped me, and I fear there is only one thing it could possibly want. Revenge. Upstairs, upstairs, come on. Come on, let's go. Oh man, it's in here! Now, boy, you have to realize before we go... Are you kidding me, man? You can't even punt a beach ball, much less kick down somebody's door. Punting a beach ball? What is Ridiculous notion that is. What? Look, man, you knew what was going on the whole time anyway. Well, maybe. Maybe. Definitely. Definitely. Theodore! 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 Should I give a joke, man? Chuck Toon, that's just some spooky old creep. <laughs> I don't know if anybody told you in the last century, man, but this vaudeville shit, it's not funny anymore, okay? You can take your Inutuk Toon and your mind eaters and you can kiss my ass, man. <laughs> I'm glad that you think your little joke is so funny after all this time. Uh, yes, I do. I do. <laughs> and your any tuck tea? Inu tuck doom? Whatever. My point is, is it wasn't even there. You see, I hadn't quite put it together until I went down into the cellar. Now, boy. You're going to want to pay attention to this. You might learn a couple of lessons. You see, many years ago, a, uh, a friend of mine who had uh, no association with the Moonlight and Brimstone Society... A friend from the bar thought he had a presence in his house. 
He knows that you knew something about ghosts. Ask you to check it out. So you go grab the new guy from Mavs, and you have him go give it a look. So then, I dispatched our newest field agent, Louis Van Gerten. Oh, he was foolhardy, wet behind the ears, and worst of all, sloppy. But the new guy didn't even complete the circle in the first place. And then he didn't cleanse the area like he should have. But he lets you think that he did a great job. And since he didn't... When my friend, Mickey Sullivan, passed away, his soul did not. It was trapped, trapped in a cavernous... Ethereal prison. You couldn't help him. Yeah, I remember. I failed him. I failed him. I failed him. Failed him, failed him, failed him, failed him, failed him. Ah, the torment! Oh, the shame! But Theodore, on this day, this most glorious day, I saved my friend Mickey Sullivan. Oh, precious day! I know the whole sad story because you got way too into it whenever you told me. No, no, Theodore, no, 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 no. You must, you must seize the moment. You don't just throw it away. A thespian, a thespian must embrace the performance. Give me that, you idiot. What? <laughs> performance? You're not even an actor. Well, I, I think... And stop doing that. Stop right. derailing me. The point is, is that you tricked me into a lesson with the help of a ghost. Well, yes. I can't even get my head around that. But, 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 Theodore, you do remember the point, don't you? Oh, what, your three little lessons? Yeah, I remember them, but I don't remember them because of your one-man show about the ghost of Mickey Sullivan. I remember them because you're a net. Well then, why don't you tell me what you learned? Okay, that's fine. First, always finish what you started. Second, always clean up after yourself. And third, always tell the truth. What? No, no, that wasn't the point at all. What, what, what are you talking about? You spent all day talking <laughs> no, about the No, 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 no. Friend Nikki. No, 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 Theodore. My dear boy. That was not the point at all. The point, the point, is that sometimes true friendship, and I mean true friendship, can sometimes last longer than a lifetime. All right. You went, old man. I guess I'll find some barrel to burn my clothes in. So long, Professor. Oh.